welcome back to the channel. As you know, here we break down Bible verses, and in this video, we're going to be breaking down Matthew chapter 12, verses 36 and 37, where Jesus Christ stated, But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. So, Jesus Christ mentioned the day of judgment. And if you read the scriptures, we can see that God Almighty, through his prophets, was always talking about a time when he would judge the world, when he would judge the people. If you read Psalm chapter 96, verse 13, for example, it said that when the Lord cometh, he will judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. And in Acts chapter 17, verses 30 and 31, St. Paul mentioned this by saying, and the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent, because he hath appointed a day in the which he would judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained, whereof he hath given assurance unto all men, and that he hath raised him from the dead. Obviously that is Jesus Christ. God Almighty gave all judgment to Jesus Christ, the Son, according to John chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10, St. Paul mentioned that we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he has done, whether it be good or bad. So the Bible talks a lot about this day of judgment. And the whole purpose of it is so that God Almighty can know what's in our hearts. Because in order for God to get rid of evil, which the judgment is eventually going to lead to, he needs to expose that evil, which is why Jesus Christ said, there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hidden that shall not be known, according to Luke chapter 12, verse 2. So for God Almighty to judge the world, he needs to expose or make known the things that are in the hearts, the iniquities that are in the heart. And in Matthew chapter 12, verse 34, Jesus Christ stated that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Therefore, God Almighty would use what we say to judge us, that is our hearts. So that's what Jesus Christ was speaking of when he said that every man shall give account of what he says in the day of judgment. What we say ultimately describes who we are. According to Matthew chapter 15, verse 18, and James chapter 3, verse 6, it defiles us. So, therefore, it is what we say that justifies us or condemns us. The only thing is that many people tend to look at this kind of judgment as future. Okay, maybe in the future there's going to be a day. But look at social media. Social media is current. And if we look closely, we'll be able to see that it's a tool being used for judgment. For example, 200 years ago when there was no social media, there were all kinds of terrible things being said. There are people like Hitler in the 20th century that were saying all kinds of terrible things that humanity hates now, but he wasn't judged for it. But now, people who say those kinds of things, things that are racist, things that are oppressive, you're judged for. Because things like social media put you to account, as in you... People come out at you and there's all kinds of bad things that start to happen. If you look at global news, people who say things that they're not supposed to are judged. So that's judgment that's happening in our time. So when the Bible talks about how we will be judged for what we say, things like social media bring that to pass. And we have to identify what tools God Almighty is using for judgment so that we can know where to stand in the whole equation. If we read Luke chapter 21 verses 34 to 36, Jesus Christ told us about how we should watch and pray so that we may be accounted worthy to escape all these things and to stand before him. And in First Peter chapter 4 verse 7, St. Peter stated, But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch and that is where I'm going to stop on breaking down Matthew chapter 12, verses 36 and 37, where Jesus Christ stated, But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. 
For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when we come out with our next first breakdown. And if you learned anything, tell us about it because we love to have discussions about the scriptures and the deep meaning thereof. Have a great day and God bless you.